up everybody it's your boy Jingle Mike here um, so I'm just filming this real quick to kind of do like a quick intro on what I'm doing today so earlier this year I came up with this idea and I've already done it a few times but I guess this is the first time I'm really like actually recording the process essentially like I thought it would be cool to book some solo acoustic shows that I do at places that I want to travel to to fish, right? So it's kind of like a mini tour mixed with fishing or, or with like the whole purpose being fishing, right? And um, so far so good. I mean, uh, just other than like the usual like unplanned, unforeseen problems like illness and just, you know, where shit just something breaks or whatever, like all in all, they've, they've been pretty smooth. The show's been good. The fishing's been good. So this particular trip, I'm heading up towards the San Luis Obispo area. There's a couple lakes out here that I've fished before, but I've never taken the boat. I've always gone on foot. And one of the lakes I really liked, but it's been like real empty for like the last like couple years because of the droughts out here. But we had a lot of rain this year and now it's at capacity. It's actually spilling over the dam. Um, it's called Lopez Lake. so. I want to fish there so I, I came up a little early so I could fish for a couple days before I play my, my round of shows and I'm hoping it's good you know like you know obviously if you know how to fish you know how to fish you can find them right but you know part of me always gets like nervous like oh what if I you know what if I get skunked I'll go all that way to get skunked but at the same time that's cool you know like I, I do have a good time even when I you know like I've if I don't catch fish, that sucked, but at the same time, it's still like nice to get away and get out. But obviously, I hope we can catch some fish, so. I know that when I was here last time, and I was on foot, I did pretty good, so I just think that with the boat, I could do that much better. Um, just, with the thing with fishing in California is like you have the, uh, there's certain restrictions on each lake as far as like getting inspected and access to it because of the, uh, the invasive, mussels and shit or clams or whatever the fuck they are uh, so you have to like pass those inspections and I never really have to do them because the lakes that I fish back at home they're all connected and I have my my pass for all of them so like I'm always good to go so I think since the, the lifetime of owning my boat I've only had to do like a couple inspections so I don't know like to me like getting the inspections kind of reminds me of back when I was in the army like when you had to do your inspections in the army you get like real nervous you don't know if like they're gonna fuck you up or if they're gonna like not really care you know I don't know that's just me thinking out loud it's just kind of silly anyways uh, I don't, I don't want to talk too much you know me I like to get to business and get to fishing so that's the plan man we're gonna see how it goes let's see how this leg of the tour does so yeah that's it let's see how we do So I was chatting with uh, Jackie, the bartender earlier, who's awesome by the way, she's the MVP of the night. Make sure they give us some nice tips and buy some drinks from her, she's rad. But I kind of got the feeling that this next song is gonna be about her, and I just didn't realize it until I got here and I had a conversation. Cause Jackie, you look like you've broken some hearts in your day. So I wanna dedicate this song to you. This part, this line coming up, is my all-time favorite breaking line, all right? It's the kind of line you say when, to a chick to make her think you want her back, but you really don't, but you're trying to get that one, like, zinger in. She knows what I'm talking about. You're laughing. You know what I'm talking about. So you're ready. This line's for you right there in the, in the purple flannel there.
Dang, first cast at Lopez Lake. Holy shit. Awesome. Literally. That's one too. Go. Rock and roll. So this is what I caught my first bass, Lopez Lake, in like maybe a decade. And he spit this out. So this is what he's eating. I threw it over in the bushes. Look at that. Nice fish. He's pissed, man. He's a mad boy. I was on a Senko too. I just the only reason I threw that is because it was what was already rigged. Pretty cool. Pretty happy with that. Nice fish. Maybe I should maybe I should hold some in the live well, huh? And then do like a final photo. Yeah, I'm gonna do that. So I'm gonna hold that fish so I could do like a cool like final photo if I catch more. So but I will let him go, don't worry. They like that single here. Yeah. Another one on the Senko, man. Look at that guy. Pretty good. Ooh. Lost my balance. <laughs> Pretty good fish. Um, so very first cast I got here, I threw a Senko and hit on the first cast. And then I swapped over to a couple other things and didn't get anything for like the last, what, like 30 minutes. And then I threw a Senko on again and boom. So I think I found my money maker. I'm gonna hold on to this so I could do a final picture with my top four. You know, I call it the cool guy picture. And then I'll let him go. I'll bring him back to the same cove too. Bass on the crankbait. Oh. Fucked him up too. A little dinker for sure, but he's got a big stomach, you know, a big appetite. Wants to try to eat that big ass crankbait. So you all know my motto: Dink lives matter, baby. Hey, check it out. Got a crappie. <laughs> Look at that. Crappie on a crankbait. Get in my belly!
didn't realize I had one. Yeah. Didn't realize I had them on. I was uh, kind of in motion when I was. Got to put my spot lock. I was in motion. And I didn't realize that I had a fish on. He's a pretty good, decent size, you know. No, nothing to write home to mama about, but it's still cool. So once again, I'm going to add them to my live well so I could do a cool guy picture with my top four at the end of the day. So, um, yeah, he looks good. No sore lip. Looking good. right there. The thicky. Good one. Good fish. Right. I'm going to swap this guy out with one of the smaller ones so I can have a cool guy picture at the end. I uh, it's all this algae right here gathered up on the top, so I threw some frogs over it and uh, got some of these guys to follow it out. So I just threw a Senko down where I saw them come out, and sure enough, got a fish. Looking good. day so far. Good one. Good fish right there. Ooh. Yeah. Good boy. We'll uh, toss one of the smaller ones in the bin so we can do our cool guy photo at the end. Pretty good one, not too bad. I'm happy with these kind all day. I'm gonna size him up to see if he's bigger or smaller than some of the other ones and then uh, swap him out.
Looking good. This one's definitely smaller than the ones I have, so he's gonna go back right away. But you know, I gotta do the dink selfie. Kind of small though. Got good color though. Good looking fish, man. Let him go. Check it out. Pretty successful first day at Lopez Lake. Haven't fished here like legitimately probably in almost a decade. Last year I tried to come here, but it was too shallow to fish, and they got a lot of water this year, and it looks like the bass is kicking ass it's late may memorial day weekend right before the holiday so looking good i'm gonna take a, a cool guy pick with all these guys and let them go biggie, 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 can't you see? Sometimes your words just hypnotize me. so i took my cool guy picture with my four biggest ones that i caught so far um i've been fishing one side of the lake so what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna let these fish go because i caught them over here um, and then I'm gonna go to a different side of the lake and work that a little bit before I leave for the day I don't want to overdo it today because I'm coming back tomorrow. So um, I just figure I film, you know, I always like to film the release catch and release aspect of The whole thing because I think it's important for everyone to see that it's a good practice to have, you know And just to show you hey, I'm catching them and I'm letting them go. So let's let them go And you know, they're getting kisses <laughs> Tell him too. Go get bigger. They go by wearing bubbles all the time Like a giant carbonated soda It's ODA soda I saw the little run sitting there on a log I asked for a man in a rusty voice He said Yoda Yo, 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 yo and I'll be back. I'm here till 9. It'll be my last set. I'm gonna play some more cool songs, some more sad songs, happy songs. But don't forget about Jackie back there. Jackie, what's up, girl? She's slinging up drinks for y'all. Make sure to order up. I'll sound better. She'll be happy. She's got a tip jar over there, too, so make sure to fill that up. Make it rain for Jackie, because she's working hard for you guys. And I'll be back in my 10-15 minutes. <laughs> 